Home Projection Shows offer a unique way to entertain and captivate people in your local neighborhood during the holidays. In this series, we will be covering how you can begin to create your own projection shows using DaVinci Resolve. Everything covered in this series can be done using the free version of Resolve, so you can take your time and learn the process without having to pay for the software. Building projection shows starts with having a solid template to work with, and that's what each of these tutorials are designed for. We won't be showing a lot of show building techniques in this series, but a few videos will touch on the concept. The main focus here will be on the development of a template that can easily be reused over and over for any show you wish to create. Creating your template begins with having a good map file taken from the perspective of your projector. It is critical to get this part correct before going too far down the road on your journey. Similarly, once you have a good map file, you must understand and set the appropriate settings within Resolve for your template. It's not an exciting topic, but it's required. These two tutorials together are what I like to call the original sins. Rushing past these can cause all kinds of issues later on, and they almost always tie back to a mistake made within these two videos. Don't make that mistake. From there, we cover creating basic masking sets within Resolve's Fusion page, and we introduce the concept of the Fusion Tree. The tree technique allows us to build and organize within Fusion, without getting lost in the process. Here we will be creating the initial tree, which we will add on to as we go. Once you have your first masking set, you can try out the partly optional quick display video. This tutorial uses an AI-generated facade, and one video to create a display on your home. If you're pressed for time or just need something easy, this video is meant for you. I'd recommend everyone watch this though because we do cover some interesting things in this one. The next video covers basic layering within the Fusion page. Layering is a way that we can break up sections of your map file into their own masking sets. I like to refer to this as adding limbs to our Fusion tree. After this, we get into the difficult stuff in the next four videos of this series. Matching the perspective of your projector is a time-consuming process and takes a lot of tuning and testing to get right. I could lie to you and tell you it's easy, but it isn't. However, once you get your perspective filters locked in, you will never have to mess with them again, unless you move your projector. Having this right is a huge advantage in the future once you get to show building. Once we finish with perspective filters and testing techniques, it's onto a little bit of organizing. These quick videos will show you a way to organize your fusion nodes and your media pool. Staying organized is critical so don't skip over these. From there, we take a break from the hard work and have a little bit of fun by doing a brief overview of what the show build process will look like. A full show building series is currently in the works, but in this video you can get a taste of that process, so you can start formulating some plans for a show. Finally, we wrap up with two videos on creating additional layers for your template, including windows, house trim, and a few more. This takes our fusion tree concept we've been working on and expands it to a forest. Some tips to remember when you work through this series. Watch each video and follow the instructions within it. If you skip ahead or ignore a step in any of these videos, you can cause an issue that might be difficult to unwind. Follow the steps carefully when you're starting off to avoid that. It's okay to make a mistake, I make them all the time. You're learning, so don't beat yourself up if you do. If you do find a mistake, review the videos you've previously watched to determine where things might have gone wrong. Going step by step through it again will often reveal where the problem is. Don't be afraid to start over. I've hit the reset button on a project or template many times. It happens, and it's fine. I wish you the best on your journey and hope this gets you where you need to be. It is a process to get a show up and running, and it's not always an easy one. You can get there though with enough time patience and grit to make it to the end. All you have to do is keep pushing forward.